Okay, let's go. Building hope, health, and community through gardening. What I want this to be about is not me, but what happens to people like me and communities when these kinds of experiences that I'm going to share with you go on. The relationships we build with one another. Could we start? Could we start? Oh, okay, it's too late. That was. <laughs> okay. Um, so there's Michael Pollan, and, and of course we've heard his stories. And uh, talks about eating and what our, where does our food come from, what decisions lead to healthier lifestyle. And, um, and Richard Liu has recently spoken in our community, telling us how nature uh, nurtures beings and a good physical and mental health. And we need nature near us, he says, in our backyards and in our cities. And gardens offer offer something for everyone. And these are my grandchildren up in Portland, already skilled and in love with technology, but also fortunately having outdoor play. I'm very excited about learning how to transplant pumpkin seeds and very good at doing it and being very tender and gentle with their hands. So I discovered gardening when my third graders bean cup science experiment ended. And instead of sending home the plants, we started a garden. And the next three decades, my teaching increasingly was infused with garden-based cross-curricular education. And about an acre of the Monta Vista School campus got re-landscaped with vegetable butterfly gardens, sunflower houses, etc. And here you see a students dramatizing of one of my favorite pieces of children's garden literature called the carrot seed. Of course, they also grew carrots and harvested healthy snacks. And so garden education and school gardening is, is definitely growing. And uh, we can see that in our local community with the Orfla Foundations and the City College's School Gardens Program and the Food Bank's Grow Your Own Way Program and many others. So after I retired in 2005, it was really rewarding to see that there were parents uh, stepping up to the plate and creating and expanding garden programs and garden happenings, including this farmer's market, a little farmer market that, that uh, continues. Originally, we started it to raise money to have a salad bar at the school. And now the school district has that, and the money raised at the salad bar at the uh, farmer's market is used for the garden program. So the, 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 the kids are, are learning about growing herbs in this picture at an after-school Whole Food Kids Club monthly. So even Whole Foods is, is really involved with, with helping our community learn about fresh food and healthy food. So um, this is an example of a, a, a field trip that some kids can take, learn about food at Whole Food, and also a lesson that we like to teach about um, eating across the rainbow. Kids learn best when they have good role models. They make better food choices when they proudly harvest what they grow and experience and taste. And we can help them to get away from our fast food nation and change and change uh, some of the habits that unfortunately they have, so that the fast food is is not the regular part of their food habit and, and their family style of eating. It's the it's the seldom experienced one. So I think most people realize the benefits of gardening, and and uh, these these are tenth graders who entire 10th grade class came to help build Trinity Gardens. And they decided to, that it would be good to make some lemonade to serve everybody some nice refreshments. And uh, making a big difference. And this is one of our uh, master gardeners who has participated in Trinity Gardens and, and many community garden activities and helping many people learn about gardening. So. Tomorrow, I will have the pleasure of greeting 30, uh, well, less than 30, third graders from Adams School at uh, La Huerta, where they will enjoy, yeah, they will enjoy a compost, learning about composting and decomposition and history of the agriculture as we know it today in California. So what we need to do is, is think about ways that we can all make a difference, because really what it's about is is training up our children and giving them the experiences that will help them to grow in healthy ways. 
mentally, spiritually, and, and physically. So this is, this is the latest thing for me. <laughs> Building a new community garden at the corner, north end, furthermost end of Foothill Road. I mean, of Coomber Road, where Foothill meets the Coomber. And this is uh, several acres on some church property that used to be farmland that the church gave permission for developing this property. And uh, these are some students doing community service, digging in, spreading mulch, and uh, feeling good about it. Some of you may have seen the media got a hold of, of uh, some of these kids and interviewed them, and one of the boys was commenting about how good it felt to, to be doing this work and what important work it was. So we accomplished the garden, and, and so what is the purpose of all of this besides bringing people together to do something really enjoyable and learn how to plant? Well, we now um, harvest, as you can see there, there's quite a bit growing in the garden. We harvest twice a week and deliver to some needy programs, including this one here, which is Food from the Heart, which prepares food for 150 households every week and delivers that food to those households. That's, that's where that wheelbarrow I was pushing is going to. And uh, then we also provide food for a women's shelter every single week. So it's really fun to, to uh, make a difference for kids. I'm looking forward to uh, a second, third grade class coming next week to uh, see the Food from the Heart program and also learn about uh, doing community service in the Trinity Gardens. And uh, they know, as we do, that um, a pack of seeds is a pack of hope. Give, it, give a kid a pack of seeds and it's a pack of hope. So I put some seed packages out on the outside table there and if you'd like to take a pack of seeds and spread some hope, then I'd like, love for you to do that. Thank you.